Okay, another update video. This is on Alison Shablaz, whom I did a video on a few weeks ago regarding a uh, prosecution for essentially hate speech, um, anti-Semitic songs, apparently. I haven't heard the songs, as I said in the previous video, but no one should be prosecuted in a liberal democracy for singing any song with any lyrics. Sign of the times, I guess. So she's been given her sentence now. Um, she was convicted, as I said earlier, but um, she didn't receive her sentencing until recently. Uh, I think this was two days ago. And the article is on screen. Uh, this is from the BBC. This prosecution was brought about by the Campaign Against Anti-Semitism. And um, they've got their way. They are anti-free speech authoritarians. Now, I don't have an issue with Jews. I don't have an issue with Israel. But I really don't understand why these people are so keen to silence any disagreement, any criticism of the historical events of the Holocaust or even Israel. Far too frequently they refer to any criticism or historical disagreement. Let's not even say revisionism. I mean people are entitled to opinions rightly or wrongly but they're far too quick to point anyone that disagrees or criticizes certain aspects as uh, Jewish haters, anti-Semites, which isn't necessarily accurate. Now you do have legitimate, I won't say anti-Semites, I'll say anti-Jewish conspiracy theorists in this country, uh, some of whom are quite a presence online. So Mark Collette, famous anti-Jewish conspiracy theorist. Um, Millennial Woes is the same. And uh, Simon Harris has now added his name to this list. Uh, essentially, or alt-writers as well, these guys. So there are people who talk about Jews in an unflattering manner, let's say. But again, even those guys, I disagree with them, I think they're idiots, but they're entitled, or at least they should be entitled, to say whatever they like on anything that they like. So this is terrible news, Alison. Fortunately for her, she hasn't been jailed. She's been given a two-year suspended sentence. She's been banned from uh, posting anything on social media for 12 months. And um, what else have we got? There may be some community service in there or a fine as well. Anyway, I'll link the article in the description. You can have a read for yourselves. And Alison, if you are seeing this, you did comment on my previous video that I did on your case. If you'd like to contact me and uh, speak about this, I don't know your restrictions in terms of your sentencing, whether you're allowed to or not, but I'd very much like to speak with you on this and um, yeah, share the conversation, share the exchange. If you can leave a comment as you did last time, that would be great. If not, I'll leave a contact email for myself in the description.